Uh, another question I wanted to ask is, and, and this has to do with the article that I wrote over the weekend uh, on Saturday that I published over at Hartman Report, is why are we amazed by QAnon when the Republican Party was transformed by a psychotic child murderer? I mean, literally, this, uh, the, the title of the piece that I published on, on May 8th, on Saturday, uh, over at HartmanReport.com is, Americans must repudiate the connection between a child murderer, Reaganism, and Trumpism. And, I mean, the, the, the seeds of this American brutality all grew out of Ayn Rand's writing, or not all, but largely uh, today. And, you know, the Libertarian Party, of course, was started as a scam by, by a real estate industry lobbying group as a way to justify their idea that they should not be regulated, real estate, you know, should not be taxed or regulated so they can make more money. But then comes Ayn Rand, right? And uh, Donald Trump was asked in 2015 by USA Today's Kirsten Powers, his favorite book. And his favorite book, he said, was uh, The Fountainhead. This is a book by Ayn Rand in which a young woman gets raped and then decides she liked being, likes being raped. Uh, Trump said, it relates to beauty, business, life, and inner emotions. That book relates to everything. Uh, Paul Ryan was requiring everybody on his staff to read it, for example. And uh, Trump says, I identify with Howard Rourke. He's the novelist's protagonist, right, who designs skyscrapers and rages against the establishment. In fact, he was so upset with the government doing things that he literally used dynamite to blow up a public housing project. Because we don't, we don't need no stinking public housing projects. But the hero of Ayn Rand was this guy by the name, it's just in, in her journals, in fact, she lays it out. The hero of her, of her, uh, her, her life, of Ayn Rand's life, was this man but named William Edward Hickman. He lived in Los Angeles during the Roaring Twenties. Ten days before Christmas in 1927, Hickman kidnapped from the Mount Vernon Valley Junior High School the daughter uh, of uh, uh, Perry Parker. He was a wealthy businessman. Her name was Marion, a 12-year-old girl, Marion Parker. Kidnapped her, held her for ransom. He wanted 1500 bucks, which is a year's salary back then. And uh, after two days, his dad, her dad said, okay, fine, I'll pay you. But by that point in time, he had already murdered this little girl. And he, he told the paper, and I, I lay it out. I, 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 there's parts of it that are just so gruesome, I don't want to read on the air. But he talked about how he just couldn't help himself. He just had to kill her. He had to strangle her. And then he had to cut her throat and drain all her blood into the sink and then cut her body up into pieces. And then when he went out to meet her father, who was going to pay the ransom, he took a shotgun and he had just her torso and her head with her eyes sewed open so it looked like she was alive in the backseat of his car. And her father comes out and leaves the $1,500 in a satchel on the, on the ground. And Hickman's got the shotgun on him. And then Hickman kicks this dead body, these pieces of this dead body of this guy's daughter out on the street and drives off and, and dad falls to his knees sobbing. So that's who we're talking about. He was the most notorious criminal of the 1920s, of the Roaring Twenties. According to the Los Angeles Times, they called him the most, they said it was the most horrible crime of the 20s. But to Ayn Rand, this guy was a hero. She said that Hickman is, quote, the ideal man that she based The Fountainhead, Donald Trump's favorite novel, on. She said her, his statement that I am like the state, what is good for me is right, resonated deeply with her. This is what she wrote in her diary, Ayn Rand. She said, Hickman is the best and strongest expression of a real man's psychology I've ever heard. This is the monster who hacked up a 12-year-old girl, right? Um, she, she said the first thing, this is during his trial, she said, the first thing that impresses me about the case is the ferocious rage of the whole society against one man. She said, this is Ayn Rand writing in her diaries about, you know, Hickman. She said, it is not the crime alone that has raised the fury of public hatred. It is the case of daring challenge to society. See, he was unrepentant. He was quite proud of what he did. It is the amazing picture of a man with no regard whatsoever for all that society holds sacred, with a consciousness all his own. Thus, she said, the media turned a brilliant, unusual, exceptional boy into a purposeless monster. 
She was writing a book at the time. It was, uh, it was, uh, and, and its hero was a little boy named, or a young man named Danny Ren Renahan. And in her notes on that book, she wrote, the model for, the, for Renahan is Hickman. He would be her ideal man. He was born with the spirit of Argon and the nature of a medieval feudal lord. Imperious, impatient, uncompromising, untamable, intolerant, unadaptable, passionate, intensely proud, superior to the mob, an extreme extremist, no respect for anyone or anything. That was Ayn Rand's hero that she based her novels on. At least two of them. And she is the hero that the Republican Party bases its policies of thoughtful, intelligent greed. Greed is good. Greed will drive things. Greed is the power behind capitalism, don't you know? This is what the GOP is all about.